Today's video goes out to William Tyler for now. He won a monthly giveaway and instead of taking a gift card, he donated it back to the show. So today we're doing a local spot because of him. He bought this meal. That's the truth. And also guys, we got rowdy at our lot last podcast. It's a must <laughs> listen. We did a power hour. So if you want to see a couple of idiots Ooh. get blacked out. I just want to talk about, man, what a deep question for right now. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's the main, everyone in the room knows it. Everyone watching on Instagram knows it. We should, people are commenting. No one's responding to these people. <laughs> the hangover was real. <laughs> Roll the montage. And them dollars made my spidey sense of ring a ring ring. And that booty on the thought he made me spring a spring spring. Then I took her to my pad, made her sing a sing sing. Recently, Corey and I saw Jingle a Day from the Knits. They did a little jingle on Psy Pie Pizza Pie. Come on down and grab a slice. Because we saw that video, we're intrigued. I'm excited. I've never like been on my way to get pizza and been bummed out. No, that's just a very difficult thing to do. You'd have to be going to get funeral pizzas or something to feel that way. <laughs> Let's get some uh, some pizza. One buster to medium. Pizza from Side Pie Pizzeria acquired jump cut. All right, so this place has two locations in Wrigley. <laughs> uh, they're within 0.4 miles of each other. Business must be good. Corey Wagner, second angle, go. Alrighty, let's open her up and see what we got. Oh, a little thin crust, boy. What you're seeing on the buster, it looks like we got some pepperoni. I think I'm seeing some bacon cubes. Looks like there's some sausage, some celery. Oh, that's the... Uh, Jardinera, huh? Yeah. The celery, and then the, is that carrots? Yeah, it's like a mixture of peppers and carrots peppers and, and carrots and, and vinegarized. Mmm, I'll tell you what, it smells pretty good. Um, then they also give you uh, some nice crushed reds, which I always like, and some nice grated parmy parm, and I think some coasters. <laughs> <laughs> also, the uh, the one thing you didn't mention that most of the time I still don't know what it is when I am eating it. Capicola. Capicola. Oh, is that the ham looking stuff? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Pretty much any like Italian meat. I'm about it. I'm about it. All right, I'm ready for a Corey Wagner box rip. All right, let's do it from this angle today. Whoa. Mmm. There you go, kind sir. Plate Ooh. up. Loud and efficient. That's the way I like it. That's how I am in the bedroom. Ew, gross. <laughs> Very efficient. Yeah, you're, 30 seconds. You're, Super efficient. You're on to me. <laughs> oh, that's a good amount, too. Teamwork makes the pizza's dream work. Yum. Yeah, there you go. Being bright Brighten, colors. Brightened up, dude. Wait, we're trying to film a video. Can you not talk on your phone? Please stop delivering mail <laughs> correctly. It's something I don't want in my life. <laughs> yeah. So medium, this is about 20 bucks. Three bucks, three bucks a slice after tax and tip. Sci Pie, uh, what's this one called again? The Buster. Buster. Cheers. Cheers. That's good pizza. A lot of meats. A lot of meat. Good salt. A lot of salt. A lot mm -hmm. of sodium. You a sodium guy? Good flavor. What do you think of like the dough down here? It's so thin that it's not, I'm not really getting like a, it's not having an impact on me, which I'm about. I kind of want to not really experience my dough very often, you know? I'm For more sure. about the meats. Why are you getting an experience? It seems very basic. Mmm. Toppings are really good. I don't really taste like cheese or sauce. I just taste all the meats. Yeah, definitely not much sauce. Mm -hmm. Sausage, capricola, pepperoni, a bunch of Vinegared, you know, the jardinera, you're probably not gonna taste much of the cheese. It's like, I think that's part of the, the like stylistic choices of this pizza. Yeah. Just probably. Mm -hmm. If we just got a cheese and pepperoni, you You'd know, be tasting we'd, we'd, be, we'd be able to, you know, mm -hmm. vote on that a little bit better, I bet. Yeah. Nine bites, nobody knows the rules. Average pizza's not great. That's what I was kind of like. It's not the best pizza to. I've ever had, but it's a very average pizza. But average pizza, I'm still like, yeah, this is good. This is really good. It's still pizza, like we always talk about. At the end of the day, I'm like, eating pizza. I tell you what, if someone ordered this and it came to my place, I'd be like, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. it's still Wrigley's a very competitive area to open up a little pizza shop. A lot Absolutely. of different places you can snag a slice. So at the crust end, I can really tell you about the dough, and the dough is very uneventful on the crust end. Yeah, I'm very. not signing up for notifications for this event, right? Mm -mm. But like, I'm happy. I'm definitely happy. 
These are great topping. I would definitely get this. What do you think about the price point? Um, medium pizza for me and you, uh, it's about 22, 23, 24 bucks right in that, depending on what you tip. I think, so it's not a pepperoni pizza. Right. So when you're talking about a pizza with this many meats and this like specialty in this neighborhood, it's like, it's gonna sound crazy to people who are watching this probably. That's probably about average. It that's is. about what you're gonna pay. It's, mm -hmm. It just is what it is, you know? These are the types of things where when like people come to visit Chicago and they're like, oh, let's go snag a pizza real quick from like our hotels near Wrigley. They're shocked that they have to spend like 25 Five dollars yeah. on a pizza. Where me and you were like, oh yeah, that's just what it is. You know, going in, it's an expensive city. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're gonna get a specialty. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're not getting just a pepperoni and cheese. It's like that's why that place down the street for me is doing like four dollar slices of pepperoni. I know. Like, yeah, I mean. Yeah. Market value kind of grew on me too as I had my second piece. I was like, this is a really good flavor. Mm -hmm. It grew on me. I definitely like the flavor of it, especially if you're in the mood for. There's not a lot of places I feel like that you can get a taste of Chicago on your pizza that they don't get up. Yeah, like getting the Jardinero, which is um, that should be on pizza. I feel like. I agree. I agree. And it's pretty good on this pizza, and you just can't find that very often. So it's kind of nice having like, a, oh, I'm in Wrigley. I'm going to a Cubs game. I want to do something with like a little Chicago flavor to it. Yeah. And but I want pizza and I don't want deep dish. Yeah, this might be. A good move to make. I agree. I'm perfectly content with two pieces of that. Mm hmm. It's like, yeah, it's not Muhammad Ali, but it's not some guy picking a street fight. That's a guy who had a long career and he had as about as many wins as he had losses, but he, he made a living for himself and he, you know, sent his kids to college with that. It's a good for you, you know? It's a phenomenal analogy. <laughs> Dude, I'm a crazy person. I'm still might go get another side pie pizza. Oh yeah. If only for the aesthetic, because the one on Sheffield has that alley hangout spot. It's got a little yeah, alley with yeah. a bunch of little tables. I kind of shot a little shot of like the train going by of it. I love that. All right. Uh, before we rate that pizza out of five, let's do a quick shout out. Yeah. Shirt shout out. Shirt shout out. Shirt shout out. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. Big shout out to Troy Redman, the awesome hero of the show. He got himself sunglasses and stickers. That means that dude only dropped 15 bucks. He got himself a nice quick shout out. And uh, we love him for it. And uh, I want to marry me. You want to marry yourself? And second shout out today, homie OG of the series, Cindy Brown. <laughs> Two pairs of sunglasses. So, Cindy, thank you so much for buying. I like having a backup. Yeah, you know, I lose mine. A couple things, I lose my lut, my my temper, mm -hmm. and I lose my sunglasses. Mm. Which one would you say you lose more? That's about an even split, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Who's somebody really funny that has, like, is known for losing their temper? Who's the dude who's eating the hamburgers? Drunk. Yelling at a uh, voicemail. David Hasselhoff? David Hasselhoff, dude. He loses his temper when he's blacked out. <laughs> hey! The Hoff is also Out of five David Hasselhoff heads, how many David Hasselhoff <laughs> heads do you give the Buster Pizza from Side Pie Pizzeria here in Wrigleyville, Cory? It was a good flavor. It wasn't the greatest, like we said. Uh, I like that they put the Jardinera and did it well on a pizza, because I feel like it should be on a lot more pizzas, mm -hmm. but some idiots would probably screw it up. I'm glad they didn't. Um, some idiots. <laughs> I just could see it. I could see someone it up. But they didn't. They didn't get up out. It wasn't the most amazing thing in the world. So with all that being said, that's a little above average because they at least were trying something new. So I'm gonna give them a 2.75. Oh wow. I like I was the like the negative one in this video and my score is gonna be higher. Yo, oh, wow. Cause like after that second piece, I always like to like have a piece of pizza and I give my assessment or whatever. And then you really start to kind of find yourself at home on that second slice. Like, yeah. How were those ingredients kind of, you know, starting to really accent each other? Are you do you are you still trying to take another <laughs> bite? Are you enjoying yourself? Are you just trying to get it down and be done? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go 3.0. Yeah. I thought that was a 3.0 out of five. If I was walking by that place and I was hungry and I was in Wrigley, that's a great place to stop. You know what I think it is? I think because like I, I say this often, and it sounds like we agree, but it also sounds like we might not agree. Even like, it's just average pizza is still really good pizza, so I'm not gonna be negative about something. Yeah, you're but right. it's still really good, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't need to be blown away to enjoy something and think it's still better than average. Because even an average pizza is like, I'm still not gonna say nothing negative oh, about right. a, a 2.5 pizza. Right. I'm gonna say nothing negative about probably, you know? Great time here with you today. Sun shining, love Wrigleyville, love this city, love pizza. That's right. Fantastic day. Fantastic day. For a local spot? For a local spot? Guy here. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Thank you so much. Go check out the podcast. It just went live on Monday. That one was a gas. That was a real gas. You snap a pic of uh, you and your husband doing something nasty. <laughs> Jesus. And send it to her. And say, <laughs> no. look, quit f with me. I'm going to keep sending you pics of your uh, son's hard bone. We'll See you guys tomorrow. Brand new video. Enjoy the day or whatever people say. <laughs> Come on, 10, 10, 10. Yeah.